guys. Welcome back to an episode of Fishing the 410. Today I'm uh, actually fishing for some pickerel. I'm in the Delaware Paddle Sports December Pickerel Tournament. It's like uh, December 4th right now. I'm on the Eastern Shore. One of my favorite little ponds. Trying to catch me a limit of three pickerel. Hopefully I'm gonna get somewhere at 65, 75 inch range. That's where the leaders are at right now. I've been slacking on the content a little bit guys because I got a new job and I've been working like 65 hours plus a week in a kitchen. So it's really hard to kind of get a good, good content out. I have been fishing, catching a few fish here and there, but nothing really worth a full video. But I've been here for about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I've had four, three or four bites. Hooked a decent bass. Lost it at the boat on a spinner bait. I forgot my net in the car. Had a couple other bites on the Kai Tech, caught a little bass, and then I caught this nice bass you guys are about to see right here. I'm trying to come out here on one of these local little eastern shore lakes and catch a pickerel, and this is the first thing I catch. Chunky, chunky little bass. Get it back in the water though, she's bleeding a little bit. So I decided to turn the camera on. Let it roll for a little bit, see what happens. Found this little spot. It's actually kind of the point in the middle of this lake where I saw some action. I think some shad popping or something. Came over here, saw something huge shallow. It's also windy today too. They're calling for 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. I don't think it's that bad yet, but it's a little chilly out here today. People hate the pickerel, man. I love catching them. They're fun. They hit hard. They'll stop a chatterbait dead in its tracks. They'll smash a fluke, a weightless fluke, a weightless worm. I throw the old spinnerbait again. My hand warmers today, boy. You guys think that was a fish or not? You know, it really sucks when you miss a fish. It sucks even more when it's 40 degrees outside and you haven't got a bite in 45 minutes. That really sucks. Try again. So I'm pitching it at these trees, or casting it really. Letting it sink into the grass, popping it out, and that's where I'm getting bit. All my bites have been between that tree and that tree, right in that little area right there. That last hit I just had was right over here. Let's see if I can land her. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay out here. I really just wanted to get out of here, get a jump start on this uh, pickerel tournament, try to catch a pickerel or two. At least get on the board. Yeah, here comes the wind. Bundling up.
<laughs> Got my damn Kitek rod out over my shoulder. Throwing the spinner bait around. Got one. Chunker. Not too big. I'd probably say 15 or 16. Inhaled that spinner bait though. Look at that. Smacked it. Damn, he swallowed it good. Chunker. I think I'm just gonna finish fishing this big flat over here. Might call it a day, I don't know yet. Another one. This one smacked it. It's like another bass too. side of the lake a little bit longer than the last one this one's probably 16 look at the cool lipstick she's got oh, black lips nice Almost back to back cast with the spinner bait. Spinner bait is a great way to go. Especially in cold cold winter cold water months. You know, I'm definitely very new at cold water fishing, but a couple of my buddies who are very good at, you know, catching bass this time of year. Catch them on spinner baits. What I'm trying to do is pull it just to where I feel the blades thumping. And once you throw it enough times, you get the feel down for what the blades feel like in the water when you're reeling it at a certain speed. So you know, I also haven't felt any grass in the past couple casts. So I'm gonna go back to where I caught those fish and I know that there's grass and throw around a little bit more. But it's getting a little windy here, so I'm trying to parallel the bank now, about 40, 50 yards off the bank. And I'm feeling, yep, feeling the grass now, so hopefully I can get bit again. We'll see. That last one smacked it like a freight train, man. I thought that was a pickerel for sure. Set back up where I just caught those two fish. I'm gonna one, one more pass down this bank with some grass growing off of it. And then I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's windy, sun's not coming out. Unless I really start catching them here, I'm gonna pack it in, I think. This might be a pickerel or a nice bass. Holy shit. That's a big pickerel, dude. How am I going to land this with no net? Oh, this is going to suck. I think he's hooked pretty good though.
Holy crap. That's a decent one, huh? That's a nice pick. Now, my board's broken, so I don't even think I'm gonna get credit for this, but I hope I do. Well, that was pretty cool. About three and a half hours of fishing, not a pickerel bite to be had. I had. Getting ready to leave, and I catch that 23 inch monster. That's probably the biggest pickerel I've caught this year. I don't think I've caught one that big. I mean, it was, it was a healthy one. That's funny, because I know there's, I know there's a grass patch right where he was, so I was tick, 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 and he slammed it. <sighs> My hands are cold. The sun's not coming out, but I think I'm gonna stick it around, stick it out, throw a couple more casts out here in the middle, try to catch one more. If I get one more of those, I'm in top three already. That was a nice fish. It's funny, every time you catch a fish, your, your hands warm back up, your feet get a little less cold, Smile comes back to your face. I knew that was a big fish. I knew it was either a big pickerel or a big bass. That thing didn't want to come up. It was digging. I was going kind of slow too. I'm, I'm going to try to match that. I'm going to give it 20 more minutes of fishing. If I don't catch one more fish in 20 minutes, I'm going to get out of here. Happy with that, happy with that pickerel. I just caught more fish today than I think I caught the whole month of November. I was in between jobs. I, you know, just didn't have time to fish really. I bank fished a couple times. I got out on the kayak a little bit, caught some dinkers here and there, but nothing like what I've been catching today. Bass. This one's hell a little bit bigger. He and I am not good with the bait caster yet and landing fish. <laughs> but I'll take it, man. That's a nice one. Smacked it. They are smacking it today, another chunker. Oh yeah. How can I leave? How can I leave when they're biting like this? I can't, I can't leave right now. Wind's blowing me all around. I can't feel my freaking hands. My hand warmers are dying on me. My hand warmer. But I'm catching fish, man. I'm having a great time. I mean, definitely need to layer up a little better. I need to get my, uh, my cold water game down way better. One thing I do realize is I have to wear two pairs of socks every time I come out here.
Another one. Another one. No! He got off. See, that was a rookie mistake. I, I didn't play him. I grabbed my rod too soon. And I didn't have enough line out either. Look how close my line was to my rod. Damn. Man, that would have been another another one nice one to add to the, to the bag. That would have been five nice bass today. If this was a bass tournament I was in, I'd be doing looking real good right now. That was right in front of the boat. I wasn't ready for that right there, honestly. I think I just missed one. Yeah, felt like I missed one right there. All right, guys, we're back in the truck. Tighten all packed up. It was cold and windy out there. I got off the water. I didn't get any more bites after that last fish I lost right next to the boat. But um, all in all, it was a good day, man. I, like I said, I caught more fish today than I think I did the whole month of November. Um, spinner bait bite was great. Just ticking that grass with the with the blades of the bait, and then they were slamming it. That pick roll was nice too. That'll help me a lot in this month's tournament. Um, hopefully I can get out at least once a week and try to catch some of these pickerel. Uh, three fish limit. I got one. I think it's 23 inches. I'll check. Double check it when I get home. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Hopefully, you know, you guys like this short, sweet video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Share it with your friends. Leave a comment. Ask me a question. I try to, um, try to be as informative as possible. I'm not a great fisherman. I'm even worse at making these videos, but uh, if you have a question you want to ask, you know, don't be afraid to post it. Hopefully, I can answer it about my gear, about the Titan. The Titan's a great boat. Uh, hopefully, I can get around to doing maybe a review, some maintenance. I got to do some maintenance to the Propel Drive uh, coming up here over the cold months. So um, yeah, just drop me a line. Let me know how you like the videos. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys.